here are the rules that we'll be going off of in this competition. It is State of Origin time once again. Game 1 will be released now. Game 2 will be released later. And Game 3 will, if there's needed to be, a decider. Game 1 will be played at ANZ Stadium, looks like. Where the real Game 1 in 2023 is getting played in Adelaide. Game 2 at Suncorp. That, that is the exact same. Game 3 is at AMZ again. Ooh. Interesting. So it'll be Paul Gallon's Blues versus Cam Smith's Maroons. I was about to say. I nearly thought that was the NRL I guess that they had on that jersey. Uh, I'll, there are better players than I can have there. I'll put Brett Stewart at fullback. I don't. I, I'm just gonna say cause I don't really like having what you do in there. Hayne, Hayne and Virgo. What I'll do is I'll chuck. Paint in the centers is better. Merit by just a little bit. And I'll chuck Virgo. What, what, how does it stack up? And I'll chuck a front row in there. I'll chuck a uh, wood corner in there. So let's see how these teams line up. At fullback for the Blues, Brett Stewart versus Billy Slade, a pretty even matchup. On the on the wing, Nathan Merritt versus Darius Boyd, again, pretty even matchup. On the other ring, Brett Morrison versus Brent Tate. Brent Tate has a little bit of an edge over Bemos. In the centres, Blake Ferguson, Greg Inglis, pretty even, pretty even when it comes down to it. But looks like maybe GI has a little bit of an edge. Jared Hayne, Justin Hodges. Jared Hayne looks alright in his current form. Uh, this is Justin Hodges. Uh, and six, James Maloney, Mitchell Pitt. James Maloney versus Jonathan Thurston. And then Mitchell Pierce versus Cooper Cross. I'm going to change Mitchell Pierce for. Do I want Gizzy or do I want. I'll see the difference between Gidley and. Right, so I want Gidley there, and I'll chuck him. So six, Kirk Gidley, Jonathan Thurston, in the half, James Miney, Cooper Cronk. In the front row, Greg Bird versus Matty Scott, uh, Robbie Farrow versus Cam Smith, Aaron Woods versus Nate Miles, James Tarmo versus Chris McQueen, Luke Lewis versus Sammy Thide, and Paul Gallen versus Corey Parker. I might actually take James uh, Tarmo off for Anthony Watmo. On the bench, it squares up like this. Boyd Cordner against Matt Gillette. Andrew Fida versus Josh Papali. James Tamo versus Ben Teo. And Josh Reynolds versus Daly Cherry Evans, the current leader of the Queensland State of Origin side. There is no fiercer rivalry between New South Wales and Queensland. Even though they only play each other three times, they play each other only three times a year and during the middle of the year it is still way much more of a competition than most of the NRL most of these players have played w with one or, or maybe Welcome a few of the its opposition to the big stage of rugby league state of origin football and you're in the best seat in the house as we get ready to see New South Wales and Queensland go at it again. Andrew Voss here, and I have the pleasure of welcoming Phil Gould, who will be joining me in the commentary. Welcome, Gus. How good is this? Origin during the football. during the rest of the week, I'll do a 2012. It doesn't get any version. better than State of Origin, described as sports. I chose to use rivalry. from 1982 and the inception of the three match series. Total victories for each side were extraordinarily even. However, from 2006, Queensland have dominated the competition. 
New South Wales are determined to get back on level terms, so maybe tonight we see a new rain start here. So what it looks like is we'll do the 2013 series. So it's basically a decade ago. Only a few, only I think one of these players have made it to the current state of origin, being Daly Cherry Evans. Because uh, Josh Reynolds still playing footy, but yeah, not in the, the same capacity. So he's wearing the number seven jersey, and it'll be the Blues to kick off. We'll go right down to set. It looks similar. That's the reason why I chose to do it in two. I do have the World Cup edition, but I've chosen to do it in two, so then um, I can do that. You're keeping them down the end. Oh, and when I say that, Friday tries to make the break for it. Woodsy's doing pretty well. Five and last. It'll go down to Billy Kid. Slater, the punt. Morris. Ooh, the Haynes. Oh, nearly. Nearly steps out. Chuck it in. Oh, Woodsy. They made up the kick within about three tackles. That's pretty good. I didn't realise he was this quick. Yeah, yeah, three tackle and they made back the kicking meters. Gal. Oh! Barra's going to have to catch him. He's unable to. Greg Inglis in the fifth minute. In the fifth minute, the Queensland Maroons. It's not good for New South Wales. They're going to have to kick off again. Straight down to McQueen. Woods chasing on him. Smith on Lewis. It's pretty decent. Keeping them inside their 10 is pretty good for them. They're keeping them well inside their half. New South Wales. Why well, I say that, I made sure that both of my markers were not square. I will say I am a proud New South Welshman. So, this series, even though I'm making difficulty, it will be a bit biased. Straight on the merit. Ooh, Virgo. On tackle number one. Woodsy, on the Wapmo, on the Wapmo, on the Wapmo, okay, having Farrah in the dummy half, I might actually change that through the series, Ooh. they want to try and even it up, so we'll pass it out Lewis, oh, Six more. Oh, merit! N on s they have six more in the in, in the opposition's in goal. Gal. Ooh. Oh, to go to the corner. It would have been better if we had a winger there, but we'll push it back inside through Bird on the Woods. Woodsy. There's Aaron Woods. And he'll reply in the 13th minute. I'll make the first substitution of the game. And that is for Aaron Woods. He'll come off for Andrew for feeder. Gidley. Straight on the walk mode. Went to Lewis, to Woods, went to Maloney. Jimmy, Jimmy Maloney. He'll go to Merritt. We're, we're making our. Ooh. 
That isn't good. We're third tackle and we haven't made it. We've made it over halfway, but we haven't stayed there. Gidley. Okay, I'll put up a bomb. I won't go for a crossfield kick because that is rarely ever pan out. Gidley kicks the football very hard. Slater marks the ball. Because good that we haven't let another Queensland try in. We haven't let them really out of our own half all game. Even though it is a tied game so far, we I think New South Wales is very dominant. Yeah. You won't see too many better tackles than that. Thurston to get the ball. Thurston with the puck. Oh wait, no, he's inside. 40-20. First play within their within the New South Wales half. And they're already on their ten. Thurston! Tight! Wrapped up in the tackle. I'll make our second interchange of the evening, and that will be uh, James Tamo for Greg Bird. A quarter of the game gone. First turn. Oh, what a! I thought he would have passed it outside. But they'll they'll quite back in the twentieth minute. That's a great kick from our block. Right down on top. Smith gets it. It's always good to take out the hooker. Uh, at half time, I'm thinking we move either Joshy Reynolds into the hooker position for Bobby Farrer or move him into the halves. We'll look, we'll look at him near half time. The ball, he from half. Off the I'll make our last interchange before half time. I will do forty quarter and forty quarters. Because we do have twelve interchanges. So I'll do two at half time. Scott launches a kick. Stewart surprised he's careful with that bouncing ball. Hey. Gidley. Good burst this one. Stewart. Back inside of Stewart. Oh! Nearly able to cut back within five minutes. Lewis! Oh! He's got it! He's got it! Come on. Give it to him! And it's only forwards! For New South Wales, it'll be through first their front rower, who then comes off after the try. Then it's their second rower, who then comes off after the try. So if you score it, I think the New South Wales players are worried because if they score a try, they look, they're looking to be in a change. Straight on the what no. But it's good that we're able to cut back pretty quickly. Oh, Fergo! On your Fergo! This is why he was selected. He's dashing around. Oh. I think I might put another... Um, back line player into the interchange. Oh! The feeder! Oh my god! No, no pressure, and he scored it. Again, through another forward, Andy Rue, the feeder. Look at the bomb. Are they gonna, are they gonna replay and show the bomb? No. I'll have to do it myself in editing. Might. 
Fuck. Don't yell on that one, and go to what mode. Um, Fafita is the first person to score a try and not come off afterwards. So far. What have we got if I was sitting just that little bit back so I could have off -hooded. Bombs have really turned up. Okay. Could have done a chip and chase, but it wouldn't. Have. They rarely ever were. Well, we're going to go into half time with the lead, 18 12. As I say that, Queensland get a penalty. Seven to go. They might be able to tie it up with this penalty. I might actually do another. Yeah, I'll do an interchange for. Okay, so I'll have. I have Josh Reynolds move into the 5-8 position. Um, actually, I might play him half-back. And I'll... I'll chuck Luke Lewis in as the hooker. And Greg Bird in as well. I think that's how I'll play this... Um, Half-out. So that means, yes, Gal will come off. I'm thinking of maybe playing him in the number 10 jersey. Next game. But who knows? Oh. So they're going to go for a ball, I'd say, on last. Oh, another one. I would say that they would have should have gone for the penalty, even even though they are behind. If they score after that, then it's pretty good for them. I don't know how they're not able to get a try out of this. If we're able to hold them up, while we're this far in our end, it isn't it isn't good for Queensland. Oh, Thide. Thide able to score in the 38th minute, right underneath the sticks. And Jonathan Thurston, of course, in his fashion, will convert. He's big for feeder. Half time. And Brent Tate will be taken. Uh, since it is half time, I'll do the changes now. So Joshy Reynolds will come in at half back. Robbie Farrar for Luke Lewis and Greg Bird. I'll make some changes as well. The goal kicking will now be tended to by Kurt Gidley. Three apiece. They're locked up. It is all up to this half. Who wins and who will get the first mark in this Oregon series? Straight to Bird. Pretty good. What mo? Oh, it's Brett Stewart. Oh, intercept by Thurston. It was tip for tat in the first half. I wonder if it'll be the same in the second half and if we'll go into Golden Point. 
Both teams now know where they have made errors, but I'm just wondering if either will come out on top in the first game. But I think it will go into Golden Point uh, unlimited time after that. Merrick. Merrick straight on to Ferguson. Oh, it. We don't have um the wind towards us, we actually have the wind against us now. Which is never that good. So I think we'll have to go for a bomb at, um why are you back there, bird? That's the fourth. Reynolds, you better come up with something. No, of course. Of course you pass. Not afraid to put their bodies on the line here. Ferguson. Hunter. Boss Fielder. Boy, doesn't make it to that ball on the fall. You'd leave they would attend to that. Um I'm gonna have wisdom then chart. So First change will be to have Robbie Farrow come back inside. Still no, um, still no change in the score. No, the wind with them, so they'll probably. Shows us his speed. Gidley, the tackle there. Interesting play. Morris, Tunner, Ferguson. Oh, Fergo! On your Ferg! Cordner! Into Reynolds! Reynolds could have just passed it out to Merritt, but who knows? The figure is taking the. Ooh! Oh! Merritt's gonna have to catch him. Will he? Oh, the gap is building! And Queensland, the first to score in the second half. Oh! They are up. They are up by six now. Straight down on the Kronk. Uh, we'll make our second interchange being Jimmy Maloney to come into the fighter position. And we'll put... Yeah, Gal, Gal will come back on. We'll put Gal on. All they need to do is really defend um, so the New South Wales don't score. If they're able to get down the other end, they'll put up a field goal. I'll say that. That, that would be an idea. I've already asked the Lance if you got back. Billy going for a 40-20. Oh, there goes Ferguson. Ferguson. He tries to step past. He doesn't. Oh, another intercept. This time by Corey Parker, but he gets taken by Farah. Nearly 20 minutes into the second half. Another change. It will be Aaron Woods for James Tamo. The defence tonight has been first class from both sides. Not afraid to put their bodies on the line here. Boy, he's 
Shut down there by the defence. Gillette rushes the defence aside. Shut down in that tackle. Papali. Hodges. There we have Bomb, he'll put it up. Or maybe he won't. Slater, trying a little kick in behind. Oh, that was close. That was a close call. Nearly a dumb one. Nearly one of the dumbest calls that could have been made. Virgo. They have a chance. Here they go, they move Woods. left now. Woods. Let's do it. Morisov. I'm going to bury him, I'm going to bury him, Lee Farrah. Oh, Ruby Farrah. No backline player has scored yet for the Blues. It'll come through front rower, hooker, Robbie Farrah. Oh, okay. Oh, that is perfect. James Maloney has tied it up with his excellent kicking skills. But we'll go down to Maloney on Lewis. We'll go to Reynolds. Who goes to Fergo? Fergo. Here goes Merritt. On Merritt. Merritt's able to run it up past halfway before the second tackle was even completed. Oh, Aaron Woods. He's forced Woods through. They're wanting it now, the Blues. Hey, Wanda Morris. Unable to get there. Oh, great defense. Super game this. It's still anyone's game. Has it? He got some. Okay. Seeds to attack. Stewart slaps it for a field goal. Oh, nearly. That kick is over the dead ball line. It's a good move this one. Interchange being used. Hodges breaks through the defence. I'll make a weird interchange. I'll first take. I'll move Gidley on for Hain. And then I'll move Lewis. Lewis, uh, no, I won't take Lewis for Fergo. Not now. I'll chuck. No, I won't, I won't chuck any for fear on. So I want to save this for the back one. I want to rest Hayne for a little bit and then chuck him back on. Or an injured player. I'd rather realistically save it for an injured player than... Oh, it's a knock on, and Corden has got it on tackle zero. Okay, basically, whatever happens, it's basically a field goal. Lewis, he breaks through. He'll go to Jimmy Maloney, who will lose a couple meters. Yeah, move it right side, or through Stewart. Try to strip the ball in the tackle. Clever play. Ball is able to strip it. I don't know how he's able to. We weren't able to. If we would have, we would have been penalised. On tackle number two. Papali is tackled. Cherry Evans. Slater. Collected in that tackle. Cherry Evans is on now. Alright. I don't think Kane will be able to come back on, so yeah, it will be. Later on. Five. Five to go. We're just about there. We're going to go 40 20, I swear. He's asking to go there. Oh, 
I would make a couple meters. I don't want him stripping the ball, so I want to... Virgo! Go, Virgo! Oh! Virgo, steal it! Steal it! On the corner. Cordner's not able to get there. Here it goes. Maloney. He'll go for it. James Maloney. Makes it 25. 24. Up comes Stewart. Don't keep moving. For feeder. On the Fergo. On the Merritt. Zero. Merritt. On full time. We're getting Gal to kick this. If he gets it down, I'm getting Gal to kick it. Paul Gallon. Paul Gallon, the lock, the captain. And he'll miss it, but it won't matter. New South Wales have won game one at home. Next game is at Suncorp Stadium. Man of the match, Jonathan Thurston. Oh my goodness. James Maloney did excellent in that game. Most of the amount of metres. It was, it was Blake Ferguson, but Brett Stewart came up very close. So, so did Nathan Merritt. I got, uh, let's look at errors. A lot of errors made by New South Wales, even though the win. A lot of interceptions made by Queensland as well. Kicks. Billy Slater, fullback, did the most kicks in the entire game. But it was all bloody merits kick right into the player. The line breaks aren't even. Honestly. But 